Hey everyone, it's Susie. Welcome back. If you're new here to the channel, welcome in. Today's video is continuing the color series and today I'm going to bring you purples and multicolors. Not a whole lot, but enough. So we're going to begin with purples. Okay, first off I have this necklace, double strands. Look at these beads. They are glass faceted. Uh, there is a lobster claw clasp closure and an extender. This here has a eight inch drop to the shorter strand, making it 16 inches. And that extender adds two inches. So here you can see, love that deep purple color. And you do have silver tone, like very tiny little slim rondelles in between. The chain is like a dark, darker silver. So we have this and this will be item number one. Oh, there is a matching. There's a matching um, stretch bracelet. How nice. It is um, the larger bead. So it matches the bead on the, on the bottom centers of the strand. So this here stretches good. This will be item number two. And I will offer it also as a set with item number one, so I'll I'll just indicate that on the screen. The next necklace is a Y necklace. This is made up of faux pearls, acrylic beads. Really pretty colors. It has a silver tone lobster claw clasp. You have that extender with the faux pearl um on the end and the drop on this is also uh, eight inches making it a 16 inch necklace up to where the y begins and this extender is two inches long so we have this really pretty one lightweight because it is um acrylic so this here will be Item number three. Next item. I don't see a clasp. These are glass. You know, looking at it, it's pretty uniform that some of the beads, you see like that? The coating is not complete. They're frosted beads. And I'm not sure if the coating is supposed to look like that, meaning that is the design. I mean, it doesn't look bad. I think it looks cool. And then you have the smaller beads, and the smaller beads also have the same style where some of the coating is not complete like it is on the the larger ones this here is the infinity strand and i do like it though and it measures in at 32 inches in full length because the drop on this is 16. So we have these very pretty end caps. Look at that. They look like um, petals. So we have this one, and this one is going to be number four. Next up, I have a very uh, another very long necklace, but this one here, look at these components. They are a mix of 
glass, uh, and acrylic. You even have these. They look, they almost look like those Italian uh, Millefiori beads. Oh, you have cubes, you have saucers, you have discs, you have heart shapes. You have this carved flower, faux pearls. This is a very pretty necklace. I like the combination of different um, beads. And oh, there is a jewelry tag. What does it say? AEO? Hey, American Eagle Outfitters? Really? This here doesn't have a clasp, it seems. Uh, let's see, the drop on this one is long. It's 18 inches making this a 36 inch necklace. So this one here by AEO, this will be number five. Next up, I have this beautiful triple strand necklace. It does have a magnetic closure and from what i recall when i bought this um th these are not glass this is an actual stone of some sort i'm thinking well let's find out together of course there's beeping cars outside so as you can see here i have my presidium um and the different stones that are depicted on the display if this is amethyst it would go to the line on the bottom if this is let's say for instance tourmaline it would be the top line right there if this is just glass it would be the red line so let us see what this is so i'm gonna have to hold it and okay let's try it Oh, it slipped. It's actually going up to amethyst. Uh, yes. Just touching the amethyst line. Let's try another one. Okay. Yeah. These are amethysts. So, this strand measures in at 18 inches long. So, with the magnetic ball closure, it's really easy to um, put on. So, this one here will be item number, we're up to number six. Next up, I have this beautiful gold tone vintage necklace. It has a spring ring clasp. This one here has that traditional pendant. This is purple glass. And it's surrounded by clear glass rhinestones. So when we look on the opposite side, you can see it is foil back, open back. There's the design. The necklace uh, measures in at uh, 16 inches, so th it's an 8 inch drop. This one here will be number 7. The next necklace I have, it's made up of um, this glass. What do you call that? Uh, opalite? Opaline? And then it has these purple faceted beads and this stone. Um, this is quite short. It's only um, 14 inches long. So that means seven inch drop. But as you can see, look, look how it's constructed at the end. 
it's hanging on wires. I don't know, maybe, you know, this is something that can be taken apart and made in, you know, made into a longer necklace. You even have these really pretty opalescent faceted rondelles in between. I took out the gem tester again because I, I wanted you to see what these um, test as. So if I bring the probe to this here nugget, let's see where it falls. This one is jumping to amethyst. So that is amethyst. And then when I go to the glass, purple glass beads, let's see what happens. That's jumping all the way up to jadeite spinel. And then you have the opaline glass, or I think it's called opaline. I, I always forget the difference between opalite, opaline, opalescent, okay? Really gorgeous beads. So this should register as glass. So let's let's see. Uh yes. There there you can see it, it goes to glass. So we have this here. Really beautiful components. 14 inch necklace. This one here is going to be Item number eight. Item number nine. This is a dichroic glass pendant wrapped in um, wire. It is on a very long silver tone snake chain. The chain measures in at 19 inches. There is a four inch extender so we have this one here. It has a lobster claw clasp. Here is the pendant. It has some glittery detail in there. Here's the back of it. Item number making a mess <laughs> item number nine next up i have this necklace this one has um rounded rectangular stones we will test to see what they are in between there are these very ornate square shaped beaded spacers there is a lobster claw clasp on top along with the an extender this here has a measurement of um, 17 inches in total. So uh, eight and a half inch drop. And the extender adds two inches only. So here I have the Presidium already. Let's test this to see what, what this is. Okay, this jumps all the way up to Jadeite Spinel. Let's grab another one. Okay, yep, same thing. So, looking at it closer. This could very well be... Um, Lavender Jade or Spinel. Hmm. All I know is it's heavy. <laughs> this here is uh, item number 10. Item number 11, this is a beautiful silver tone bracelet. It is by Kate Spade, New York. As you can see, there is a spade right there. It has a nice lilac enamel outside. And the way it opens, it's really nice. You press the spade down and it opens up. This is in beautiful condition. 
there you heard that little clip snap this measures in at seven inches we have this one here number 11 kate spade bracelet next up i have this beautiful sterling silver ring with five yeah there are five square cut channel set amethyst stones there you can see the thickness of it this measures in at six and a half six and a half if i take that out you can see how thick it is and here is the undercarriage it is all open back and it is marked on the inside if i can find it okay there you can see 925 Let's see if I can do this. Okay, 925 right there. And there is a symbol of some type, like a Maker's Mark stamp on the left of it. And I really can't make that out. And then on the right of the 925, those words, I believe, say uh, Hong Kong. So we have this ring. really pretty let me put it back on here so you can see this here is going to be item number 12. here i have another ring this is also marked 925 it has been tested the middle stone is amethyst and either side of it are um peridot here's the back this one here measures in at seven and a quarter. So if I take this off the mandrel, you can see these rings really do need cleaning. It is open back, and this is also marked on the inside somewhere. I think that's where. Right there, it says, it looks like copyright huh, CMD, maybe? And then on the other side, it does say 925 upside down. So we have this ring. And this will be number 13. Next up, I have another ring. This is pretty nice. It is an oval shaped amethyst stone. It has two nice sized clear rhinestones on either side. It is marked on the inside JMN, I think. It was pretty hard to see as well. Let me see if I could find it. Maybe that was it. It's really hard to see. Anyway, okay. Placing it on the mandrel, this falls down to uh, seven and a half. So we have this one here. And this will be item number 14. You know what? I'm going to take the uh, gem tester out and test the stones for you in front of you so, so you know. Here I will test the stones for you to see that these are, in fact, what I said they were. Amethyst. Amethyst. The green ones, let's see where they fall. I said they were peridot. They are in the garnet. No, they are in the uh, chrysoprase emerald nephrite line. And then the last one is
Oh my, it's going all the way up to spinel. Now it's going back towards amethyst. <laughs> Okay, this is amethyst. And let's take a, um, a peek at the clear stone. That one is in fact all the way, it's in the glass line. I mean, these could very well be CZs as well. So we have this one. And that one. And this. Next up, we have this Infinity Strand. It's really a, a fun vintage necklace. It is hand knotted. You have all these fun shapes in this uh, iridescent um, dark purpley blue color. This one here measures in at 68 inches in total, 34 inch drop. It just keeps on going. This here, so fun. This here is going to be item number 15. Next up, I found this little toggle bracelet, beautiful bicones. Now that I look at it, they kind of look pink. I want to say pink purple. <laughs> with the green, really pretty bicone beads in two different sizes. And then you have the silver tone beaded rondelles. Toggle bracelet, this is kind of small. It measures on the mandrel six and a quarter. So we have this one here and this is going to be number 16. The last item I have that will um, complete the purple tones is this necklace. It's a vintage necklace and it kind of popped the purples popped out at me, and even though there are some other shades, if you notice, there's no clasp on this one, but it's really different. I do like the odd shapes of the acrylic beads. And then you have these gold tone plates in between. It's very unique and very, very nice. This one here has a drop of 17 inches, making it a 34-inch um, a necklace. So unique. You're not going to find these anymore. Anyway, so this wraps up the purple portion. This is going to be item number 17. Let's move on to the multicolor jewelry. Okay, moving on to multicolor jewelry. The first one I have is this beautiful necklace. It is a toggle necklace. There you can see, big large toggle on the back. Very easy to take on and off. This here, just look at these colors. Blues, purples, yellows. What is that? Oh, that looks like pink. Green, blue, aqua. It keeps on going. Just a great necklace. Um, let's see. You know what? I've had it for so long. It's been in the bin. Uh, there is a slight attraction. Oh, well, not really. Hmm. I wonder, you know what, we'll test this. But in the meantime, uh, the measurement on this lengthwise was 19 inches, probably 18, 19 inches. So we have this one here. And let me show you the back side. It's all open back, foil back. I don't see, I don't see any marks like stamps or names or anything 
all I know is it's really nice. So we have this one here, and this will be number 18. Next up, I have this piece. This is a beautiful glass bead necklace. Um, I don't see a closure or a clasp. So this is a infinity strand. Beautiful glass beads. I'll bring them up close so you can see. This has a 17 inch drop, making it a 34 inch necklace. It still has a tag on it. Let's see what it says. Murano glass beaded. I'm not sure what the bottom word says. And they were asking $40. Now, there's no indication that tells me that this is in fact Murano, so I'm not gonna say that it is. But take a look at these beautiful glass beads. This one actually looks like amber. You see the spangles inside? This one looks like, oh, it looks like honey. Beautiful cobalt blue. This one actually looks like aventurine. Look at this. This looks like candy, like cherry. Wow. Then you have this one, which is like an emerald green. Beautiful, beautiful glass beads. They're all connected with the brass tone links. Look at this one. Oh, this one has like a glittery painted design going through it. Oh, this cobalt blue one has also uh, painted designs. This has a like a spiral mold um, that made that. Just beautiful. This is something else. So we have this beautiful glass bead. Wow. Multicolor glass bead necklace. This will be item number 19. Next up, I have a bag of glass uh, charms. So these would go nicely on those uh, Pandora style charm bracelets. So let's take a look at what we have here. There are 25 altogether. So, let's see. I noticed some of them, like for instance, look at this one, has dimensional designs on them. This one is pink. Here's another one that has that dimension. Here's one, ooh, has a, like a gold glitter inside. But I noticed that, you see, one side has the metal ring and the other side does not. Hmm. Okay, we'll go over these quickly. Here's another one. Ooh, this is cute. Painted. This one is like the other one I just showed you with the glittery design, clear. But this does have the metal ring on either side. You got, oh, this is nice. You know what? I'm gonna grab a set of tweezers. Yeah, I have one of these. Um, so that way it's easier for me to pick up. This is pretty, it's green with the foil. And it also has the metal rings on either side. This one here is a purple glass um, faceted one. This one is, ooh, this is blue with the painted flower on it. That's like a amber tone, amber tone one. Let's look at this one. This is, this is missing. I don't know if it's supposed to have the metal ring. Yeah, probably, uh, wait, yes. But this is nice. It, it's like the art glass. It has, um, I don't know. Can you see that? Yeah, there you go. Moving on. I think you see it better when I have something behind it. Ooh, that's a nice one. Clear with the blue and white flowers. 
Maybe I should get a card. Pink. Blue with rhinestones. Yellow and brown and white. You have the blue swirls. Okay. This one. Oh, nice. Different colors. Another pink one. Another one that has dimension. Here is a, well, that's a pretty pink one. This is, I, what is this? Okay, this feels like a stone. And, oh, this is nice, a foil, silver foil with the pink flowers. Here's a nice green one. Oh, this is a definitely a frog. Is that a frog? I think so. Look at this frog sitting on the charm. That is unusual. That is so sweet. And lastly is the red one with the copper glitter. And it is missing a ring on, on one side. So you have these 25 glass charms and this will be item number 20. next up item number 21 this is a textured link gold tone necklace uh 11 and a half inch drop making it 23 inches it has a spring ring clasp let's look what it's holding okay that's a bunch of charms that's a lot of charms you know what? I may have to put it down so we can go over it. Oh, wow. Um, you have... Feels... Let's see. I'm not sure what... Maybe acrylic? Hmm. Black charms. What's next? Open... Open crosses. Oh, this is pretty. A blue blue rhinestones then you have these that have the multicolor rhinestones then you have this one that it's like an emerald green rhinestone and then in the center you have this flower with the red rhinestone and you have a pearl very pretty pearl so that is very nice let's now we can bring it close up let's take a look at these Oh, this is fun. The green ones are like a uh, Rivoli's, right? Yeah, they are. Okay, so we have this very, very nice. I mean, you can take these off and make earrings out of them. Or, you know, separate them and just wear a few as opposed to this many. It's really up to you. There's so many ways for you to... Um, wear this this year is going to be item number 21. next up i have some bracelets uh this will be 22 a and b the first one is a silver tone multi-strand bracelet it is an open cuff as you can see how the construction is you have these uh, bars holding these strands together the outer strands are a coil like a spring i noticed a little bit discoloration right there and then the middle uh, two strands are holding um, multi-colored multi seed beads. So this here bracelet measures in at six and three quarters. That's how it would look on. I think it's pretty cool. So we have that one, which is 22A. 22B is a brass tone. Well, no, it's brass. This is a brass bangle. Look at the inlay. That is pretty. Multicolor. This one here, actually pretty large. Let's see. This one goes all the way down to eight and a quarter. So we have that one here. And this will be 22B.
There you go. Next up, I have these really fun, awesome silver tone hook earrings. They have the multicolored faceted um, acrylic beads. I guess they're like, mm, not really pastel, but pretty close. I like that the blue bead has that crackle design. You have some round beads, some faceted ones. If I was able to wear uh, costume jewelry, especially earrings, I would definitely wear these, but I can't. I'm allergic to, um, to nickel. I think these are really sweet, fun earrings. And this here will be number, number 23. Next up, I have this bracelet, um, very unusual component wise. First of all, um, it does have a lobster claw clasp. I placed it on the last loop of this chain and it falls down to seven and a quarter. So let me show you the components. It's a charm bracelet. You have this heart with the marble design in green and it is double-sided you have this guy i don't know what would you consider him to be and the back of him says thailand you have another heart this time it is yellow you have one that is green you have this here it is lips with the red tiny red rhinestones and i think it says something on the back of this as well uh let's try to look that actually says 925 something and then you have another heart this time it has silver swirls you have oh this is nice that the, the I guess it's a comedy and drama. The back of this um, says, I think it says Thailand. Hmm. Then you have a pink heart and you're back in the beginning. So this here, mm, I'm going to, um, at the end of the video, test the items that I need to test, but I will put the um, description and result, of course, right here. In the meantime, this one here is item number 24. I think one more item left and that would be it. The last item I wanna show you is this necklace. And if you look at the beads, they are very colorful. These are considered to be uh, man-made materials, and it's called um, calcilica, where you see layers and layers of different colors. What it basically is, is mixing um, calcite, plastic, and coloring pigments. Sometimes they use um, powdered carbonate rock and then they artificially color it and they stabilize it with plastic. But this is one of the colors that can be produced. They also make it in like colors of blues and greens. If you look it up, calcilica beads, you will see. This here necklace is graduated. This one has a eight and a half inch drop making it 17 inches. And this little extender is only um, an inch and a half long. So it can be 17 to 18 and a half. But like I said, just beautiful, colorful beads. And it's called calcilica. So this here will be number 25. Next up um, will be the testing segment. I will be testing um, some of the pieces that I that were marked 925. Um, I guess as well as that first multicolored uh, necklace that I show, showed. And um, 
after that, it'll be a wrap. But if you don't want to stick around for the testing, I want to thank you for being here. And if you enjoyed this content, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe button's right here. It's free to subscribe. If there's anything you would like to purchase, all you need to do is email me. My email address is dragonflybees at gmail.com. Purchasing instructions are at the end of the video. Super easy. Just email me with um, your info. And uh, I use PayPal for invoicing, but you don't need to have a PayPal account. And I know that um, you can log in as guest and, and use a, I guess, credit card or Venmo or whatever options they have available for you to uh, pay. I use uh, Pirate Ship for shipping. I get you the least um, cost, well, the least expensive route to ship to you, but... I'll be honest, um, I normally use USPS for most of my shipping needs. I don't have much, I, well, recently I haven't had a good experience with UPS. So let's put it that way. So I use Pirate Ship. Comment below. Tell me if you had any favorites. I do like purple, multicolor. I do like that um, different glass rhinestones that look nice this one here very pretty as well and just different so stick around for the testing if not then like i said thank you for being here i appreciate you all and i'll see you soon bye mm -hmm.